Hi, today we're going to learn how to make these cute felted acorns using materials you can pick up at the Fairborn Library. The packet you picked up from the library has your wool and your acorn caps. There are too many acorn caps in your packet for the amount of wool that you have. And that's so that you have a range of cap sizes to choose from because your wool balls will come out all different sizes. Besides what's in your packet, you will also need a small container with a lid, dish soap, some hot water, a small towel, and some glue. It isn't required, but can be useful to also have some rubber gloves with textured palms, the kinds you'd, kind you'd use for washing dishes. If you wanna make your felted acorns into ornaments, you will also need some thin string and something for poking a hole in your acorn cap. Here's the really, really easy way to turn this into this. First, take your wool, kind of spread it out, fluff it out a little bit. You can use the whole bit. You can do all one color or you can mix your colors, but this is about how much you need for each acorn. You're gonna take that, you're gonna kind of ball it up just real gentle. And you're gonna take your container, you're gonna put in the tiniest little drop of dish soap. Really, you just need a tiny bit. If you get too much, it's gonna get way, way too soapy. It's not a tragedy if that happens, but it's easier on you if it doesn't. And you're gonna pour about two tablespoons worth of water into your container, put in your wool, Close your container tightly and start shaking. Now, this part will take a while. You're gonna shake, 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 shake all different directions, up, down, you're gonna shake it around. Just keep shaking, keep shaking. I'm not gonna make you watch me shake it because you're gonna shake it for five, 10 minutes. Um, but what's gonna happen while you shake it is this ball is gonna get smaller and smaller until it's about the size of your acorn. And you can open it up and you can check it. And if it's still too mushy like that, yeah, that's nowhere near shook enough. Then you close it up and you keep shaking. When you're all done, when you, when you think you've shook it enough or, you're tired, or your arms are tired, you're tired of shaking, go ahead and take it out I'm going to pretend this is the one I just took out. And if it's still too squishy, here's where your gloves will come in handy. Put on your gloves. Take your ball and just do that. It works easier when uh, it's soaking wet and soapy. Just keep doing that. And that will tighten it up and make a nice tight ball. Then rinse it in your sink, take your towel, and squish it and squish it and squish it in the towel. Then make them, you might need to reform it into a nice little ball and you're gonna set it aside until it dries. You can toss it in the dryer if you happen to be doing a load of laundry, just make sure you don't lose it in the dryer um, or just let it sit for a couple of hours until it gets really good and dry. Then you're going to take your acorn cap and put some glue into it, stick it in there, and then boom, that's it. Let your glue dry and you've got a little acorn. If you want to make it into an ornament, this is where you need your pokey thing. Put your pokey thing in the very center of your acorn cap and poke down pretty hard. Poke it down, screw it a little bit. You gotta keep working on it until you've got a good hole. 
Once you've got a good hole, this is where you get your string. Cut your string twice as long as you want it to be for your ornament. And tie a knot in the end of your string. Now this part's a little bit tricky because you're gonna have to poke the other end of your string through the hole you made in your acorn cap. You're gonna kind of want to bend it, twist it a little bit. So you've got it where you can poke it right through your acorn cap. And you're gonna go back with your glue, put glue inside your acorn cap See, make sure your string gets full of glue too. Then you put your felt ball in. And depending on what kind of glue you can use, you can use any kind, hot glue would work. This is just a white Elmer's type glue, tacky glue. Uh, glue sticks probably not so well, but any kind of liquid or tacky glue or hot glue should work just fine. And you're gonna to wanna to set that aside until it dries. But once the glue dries, you have a little acorn ornament. And that's all there is to it. So enjoy. <laughs>